Hello guys, I'm Emmy and today we are going to be uh, doing, or at least I'm going to be showing you, a demonstration of chromatography. So, what is chromatography? I didn't know until earlier today. And what it basically is, is kind of like the idea of the colors, because chrome means color, they are in other colors. And using my garden here and other things are going to show you how that works. Now, before I show you how to make one of these flowers, um, I'm going to kind of show you, like, tell you what is going to happen with them, which is the water is going to, that is in the cup, is going to go up through this little guy's stem, and it's going to spread out the colors so that we can see really, like, what's in it. So you need to let it have a bit of time to sit. But I thought a cool way to show you that first is, and you can do this at home too, with your paper towels, you can check or check out like what the different colors do and how they mix with each other and just have some good fun by coloring on this piece of paper. And because paper towels are absorbent, they're also really good at getting different colors to bleed and blend together. So I had a lot of fun taking most of the primary colors or drawing a little thing and then taking a bit of water on my placemat, of course, so I don't get it everywhere and just putting it on. And you can see that it starts to blend and bleed like that. And this technique is kind of what is going to happen with these flowers and the color is going to spread out on them, especially with this black, we see a really cool phenomena, which is often that it'll come out, like different colors will come out of the black because black is a combination of all colors. Or sometimes the black markers actually just give you some dark blue and gray. So you can see what kind of ink is actually in your color. And you can see up here that I've got some orange being made with the red and the yellow that I put water on. And then we have the blue mixing with the yellow to create some greens. So that's really fun and pretty exciting to see. And I'm going to show you how to make your own one of these guys and wait and see what happens with it. So first you're gonna take your paper towel and you're going to cut whatever shape you want. You can make it more jagged or round and fluffy as you want. I think I'm going to go for something jagged. Um, Mindy, could you grab me a pipe cleaner, please? <laughs> I forgot that one. And I am, thank you. <laughs> I got a pipe cleaner, yay! Um, so I've cut a circle. I'm gonna cut a couple of triangles into it real quick so that I have a larger or more like jackety looking flower that can get blood into. And because we're doing color bleeding and blending, I am going to take, I think, some orange and I'm gonna put it right at the center of the flower and just color that in so that I can see how it's going to split, spread out and separate. And now that I have that, on this one you can see I'm trying to see how these colors blend but now that I have that, I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and stick it through this really carefully so as to not rip everything around it. I'm gonna push it through a good bit so that I can make sure that just this tip goes through the second part of it. And it is a pipe cleaner, so if you mess up, it's okay because they twist and turn and you can figure out a way to keep this connected to that but I prefer to take this piece 
and just take it out and then put it back in, kind of like sewing. And I'm just gonna gradually lead this part back into the flower so that I've got a good piece. As you can see, it's ripping because it's wet, so that kind of didn't work, but I'm going to twist it around so that it stays and it's in the paper towel with the pipe cleaner. And just so that my flower stays up, I'm gonna curve it a bit to put it in my cup and just sit and let it wait and add it to my paper garden. And we'll see how that bleeds. It can be fun to just play around with uh, little drops of water and other colors. As you see, this one even has now bled more and blended. And since I folded it, it created a pretty thing. So you get to just play with ink and observe ink and see how it spreads. And I hope you have fun with it. Uh, thank you. <laughs>